We're now facing an emergency. Just as we thought we had turned a corner. Probably the most significant threat we've had since the start of the pandemic. The Omicron variant is continuing to rip through the UK population. The emergence of Omicron. 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 The Omicron variant. Has struck a cruel blow. The question's now, will England face new restrictions? Would Boris Johnson even be able to deliver them? And could Christmas be cancelled again? England's Plan B restrictions mean COVID certificates, work from home guidance and compulsory face masks in more places. The hope was not that this would stop Omicron, but slow it enough to get more booster jabs in more arms. Early evidence suggests that to protect yourself from the variant, three jabs are far more effective than two. But with fears that cases may reach a million a day by the middle of the month, some scientists are wondering, will Plan B be enough? The numbers that we see on data over the next few days will be quite staggering compared to uh, the rate of growth that we've seen in cases for previous variants. Uh, this is a record number of cases. I I'm afraid we have to be realistic that records will be broken a lot. Reports suggest some in government are considering Plan B+. Plus. What this is remains unclear, but it could involve checking in at hospitality venues using the COVID-19 app, table service only in restaurants and bars, face masks in school classrooms, currently it's just in communal spaces, and hospitality venues accepting only proof of vaccination and not the results of a negative lateral flow test. That would be highly controversial. Come on, give me a cuddle. <laughs> Last year in England and Scotland, the government introduced Christmas Day bubbles of a maximum of three households. It was two in Wales. But those living in Tier 4, including in London, were banned from mixing at all. Soon after, in January 2021, the government introduced a national lockdown to try to slow the spread of the Alpha or Kent variant. But now there are even more cases than back then. Over 56,000 earlier this month, compared to just over 20,000 the year before. The difference, of course, is now a significant majority of the British public have had at least two doses of a COVID vaccine. But with data about the impact of the Omicron variant still insufficient, Christmas plans for some have been thrown in doubt again. The Scottish government is advising people to limit socialising to three households in the run-up to Christmas. I am asking, I am appealing to everyone to cut down as far as possible our contacts with people in other households. Now that is guidance, it's advice, not the law, but it may be an approach the UK government is tempted to follow. Elsewhere in Europe, Austria has controversially lifted its lockdown on vaccinated people only meaning those without jabs have to stay in lockdown. In Greece, unvaccinated people face fines, which has drawn criticism from across the political spectrum. And in the Netherlands, a lockdown has been extended. Solang the ziekenhuizen vol liggen met coronapatiënten, moeten we het virus verder terugdringen. And yet in South Africa, medical officers have appeared bemused by Europe's response. Certainly a whole lot of infections, but what this country hasn't seen is high numbers of hospitalizations. In fact, I can tell you that here in Hauteng, Central South Africa, the hospitals are taking patients with other conditions, uh, with, with other illnesses. I mean, they're functioning as normal. The UK has stepped up its booster programme so that anyone over the age of 18 is eligible, leading to some long queues. They told me it's going to be a couple of hours but uh, I'll give it a try. 101 Tory MPs rebelled against a three-line whip. The eyes to the right, 369. The nose to the left, 126. An enormous expression of disapproval from Boris Johnson's own side. Mr Speaker, if it wasn't for Labour votes, his government wouldn't have been able to introduce vital health measures. We need to save lives and protect the NHS. If cases continue to rise, the Prime Minister might struggle to persuade his own MPs that more restrictions are needed. 
Being dependent on Labour support is a position no Tory Prime Minister wants to be in. There are suggestions some Tory MPs rebelled because of Labour support, giving them political cover to register their disapproval of the Prime Minister without actually defeating him. But after a series of damaging reports of Christmas parties in Downing Street and Conservative headquarters last year, one senior Tory MP says Boris Johnson could face a leadership challenge in the new year if he doesn't change. He's got to now be in some danger and he's got to realise that because if he doesn't realise that, then he will be in much bigger danger. While it seems unlikely Christmas will be cancelled, warnings from the scientists may mean some celebrations are curtailed. Whether Boris Johnson introduces further restrictions or not, concerns about Covid seem to be changing behaviour, leading some to scale back their Christmas plans.